Ah, that's a good way to dispose of a uh, Xbox 360. I'm not a big fan of game consoles and I reckon this is the best, best way to have fun with them. Flatten them with a Range Rover. <laughs> I actually just realised the camera wasn't filming the first part of the video, which sucks ass, but I've really got to get another camera, so that's the price I pay for it. Now yeah, let's finish this thing off a bit more. Remember, don't use good tyres for this. These ones are coming off before they get used on the road again. They're worn out and scrap. into an air conditioner. Yeah, let's reposition it. Oh, let's try this way. I don't want to do that. a quarter of a Range Rover. That's pretty good. <laughs> I think that made enough of a mess. <laughs> it ain't gonna be working again. <laughs> Pretty effective though. Don't know how else I can try it. Uh, let's try again. Alright, if this doesn't work, this is the last try. I've already made enough of a mess of it. Yeah, 
that's why you don't use tyres that you're going to use on the road again. I know I'm doing permanent damage by doing this. <laughs> An Xbox 360 can support a uh, full-size SUV. Well, at least the corner of it anyway. <laughs> There's a spider. Yeah, I wouldn't get under that car. Pretty solid too. It's really solid. Okay, now how the hell I get it down? Now let's see how oh, this goes. Well, that just goes to show you can support the back quarter of a Range Rover with an Xbox 360. Not that I ever use it to actually support a vehicle while I'm working under it. <laughs> it's actually peeled it off. Peeled the top cover right back. <laughs> yeah, she's still a good old girl. Not a hiccup. Oh, there we go. You can see the water damage, it's all rusted been sitting in water for a while. <laughs> 